Did you know Linux has advanced permissions? I didn't until I read this part of the chapter. This is breaking news for me, boys. Like, this is brand new information. So I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm talking about, and I'd like you to do me a favor. Pretend like you understand what I'm saying. That way we're both playing pretend, and we can have some fun. According to the book and my follow-up Google searches, there are three, hear me, three advanced permissions on Linux. The first is set UID or SUID. Let's dive into that. The set UID basically gives your user temporary root permissions on that file. This is a very dangerous, very dangerous permission to set on your files. Be careful boys. So off screen, I ran a ls-l user bin past wd. This is the result right here. The first part of the result, if you'll notice, is read, write, s. S stands for suid. So on this particular command or on this particular program, owners have the ability to run this command as root. This is useful because, well, we need to be root to change our passwords under that user's account. But we also need to be root to modify our Etsy pass WD file, which holds our passwords. So set group ID does the same thing as set UID. Most of the time, you're not gonna apply set group ID to files because then everyone in that group would then have root permissions to run that file however they wished. However, people do use set group ID and apply them to folders. And there's a reason for that. Remember, on Linux systems, there is no file inheritance. So if you wanna create a folder that is inheritable, a fix or hack for that is to create a folder, then set group ID on that folder, and then every file created in that folder will automatically have the appropriate permissions written to it. This is very useful and we're gonna walk through an example of it. We have two users here that I made, Chris and Tom and both Chris and Tom are part of the accounting group. Let's make a folder for the accounting group and see what happens when we try to make files as Chris and Tom. So make dir dot slash account test and then let's seed into that account. So here's what we can do. We can do a change mod G plus S and you'll see underneath this folder we now have the set UID permission set. So with the set group ID now assigned what we then have to do is change the ownership of this file. So what we can do is change to, let's see here, let's see, change own, and then we wanna change the owner to accounting, and then we wanna change the local folder. And then from there we switch to Tom, and then as Tom, we should be able to touch file one. Let's do ls.h and look at permissions here. Do, 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 do. It says accounting set UID read. Ah, we still don't have write permissions. Okay. So let's exit and then let's give ourselves write permissions to this folder. So that's chone, let's see, group plus w dot slash. Oh, that's change mod group plus w dot slash. Let's talk about the last special permission and that is the sticky bit. Technically, the sticky bit always applies to your other group. So keep that in mind when using it. Now, what does the sticky bit do? Well, it keeps your files stuck wherever they are. Basically, it disables the ability to delete those files. This is very useful if you have like a shared folder and you want files inside of that shared folder to not be deleted by anybody. 